Hi guys, it's Willie here, and I'm starting the season 10 episode 3 review of Ice Road Truckers. And the first load going out today is a 20 ton load pulled by Daryl Ward uh, going to Bukitra Con. So I'll keep y'all uh, up on what's going on throughout the episode. I'm listening to it right now, so here we go. And uh, the roads are in danger of being shut down because if they get down below, down above negative six degrees Celsius, they'll be shut down. And he's at negative five degrees Celsius. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so Polar's got the second load with. Uh, with Art Bird. See what you got. So he's looking for a look on a high six mission. He's got a four hundred mile tra track to set Teresa point to set Teresa point to so see what he's on. He's got building supplies, guys. He's got building supplies. And the routes in the rough shape. I'm just letting you. The uh, computer might pick up on everything. So, he, so he's asking another truck driver to come by the situation point. He's asking it, him, do you did it look good out there? And he said, yeah. A lot of bumpy roads is what's going on right now, guys. I'm going to back away and just uh, see how it happens. I'll top some back here. A lot of mailing is going on. So that's the thing that you'll have to keep an eye out for if you're going to ask those. Okay. He runs across the road grader that is half through the ice. So that's what's going on right now. So, from what's going on right there is they try to pull out of the ice and when they was pulling it, the chains, they uh, had to uh, eat the uh, frame up. So he just talked about all the marks that happened uh, with eating the chains up and stuff. I mean, with eating the frame up and stuff. The back end of the road grader is what's through the uh, eyes. So. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, it's not cool that uh, the road breaker still has, but you know, pretty cool that stuff like that is actually shown on the show. It ain't just to show that everything goes right all the time, if you all know what I mean. So, uh, Art is, uh, 
pushing on through past the road grader right now. Okay, this is Lisa. Let's see what she held. She's with the, the uh, rival company that gets polar. She's going to Winnipeg, it looks like, with a front loader. So, yeah. It's a best at $60,000 loader. From Garden Hill down to Winnipeg for repairs. So. Apparently they need the cash. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can actually hear the skill of the loader moving. So. Pretty cool. So she hit a bump and it kind of rocked the truck for the yard right there and now it's beeping like something going on. And it's trying to shut down. Uh, it's acting like it's losing power. But it's got a caution light on the desk there. And I can't make out what it says. She stopped it. She's actually got a tire train busted on the uh, pressure side, it's like back axle. So the big issue there is never shut the truck out or it may not start back up so she fixed the break of root corner row right here. But hopefully y'all can hear my TV. Kind of giving y'all like a play by play of what's going on. So she just like, oh crap, did I just do something wrong by cutting off the truck? Let's see what else we got going on here. Okay, it's a commercial or something in the pilot. I'll be right back with y'all when it comes back up. One thing I do want to mention is, I'm sorry I didn't get to do episode 2. I have watched it and uh, not really much went on. Uh, I can basically catch you guys up during the uh, commercial here. So, you know, on that first episode, I left you with, um, does Art make it out of the ditch? And eventually he does. But what they don't tell you is, on the pressure side steer tire, he's got a flat. And so a road construction crew comes out and pulls him out, switches that flat tire out off of one from the trailer, and then he gets out of there. And then, um, Lisa gets stuck on a hill uh, called Suicide Hill and she basically has to have a truck pull her out because she tried to back down the hill and uh, the uh, trailer jack knocked on her so that's pretty interesting and um, Polar actually got a new Hyrie I guess you would call it it was a girl named Stephanie that she wants to try handling her some trucking. So, uh, 
Mo uh, Mark kind of gave her a uh, crash course there. So, yeah, that's basically everything that happened in episode 2. So, I'm sorry I didn't get to film it all, but I kind of kissed you all up right there. So, I'll pause. I'll be right back when it actually comes back on. We're back, so let's see what else is going on. And sorry about that last part being dark. I just kept my light on in here. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, if you all remember, we are with Lisa Kelly, which is having engine trouble. So let's see what goes on from Blair. So she's worried about it, that it may be something that she don't want to fix. So she's opening the new hood right now. She's checking the uh, fluids right now. Checking the oil. So she put some more oil in the motor, hoping that'll fix it. Let's see if it'll start. Yeah, it won't start. Come on, start up. She's thinking. So they are going to uh, their world, which is going to catch God if you'll remember. So basically he's not able to move there because the temperature is right at five below what's going on. So he's afraid that they shut their own down. So basically sitting on a portage which is basically uh, the land masses between the lakes. Okay, he's rolling now. So he remembers a shortcut that he can take. It's a big risk though because uh, the shortcut road may not be maintained as good as the uh, main route through there. Let's see what he does. Okay, so he just took the shortcut. Yeah, see, it's completely unmaintained by authorities. So I just have to roll the dice and hopefully he can make it through. But we'll see what happens. So he's, he's, he's making it pretty good right now. He had a couple of tree rooms there that knocked his windows out of the way. Um, so um, he's just hopefully he can make it through. He's saying he's screwed if he has to turn around. 
Tavaidam. I'm hoping that there's not some messed up spot in the room that I can't get through. So, we'll see. Okay, so we just got a three mile ice crossing happening right here. So she's saying that there's snow on the ash and what that does is keep the uh, heat in once you melt the ash from the bottom and then you get the cold water, I mean the uh, hot water from down under which is melted even more so it's getting melted from both things, the top and the bottom. So let's see what happens. He's going for it. Okay, so guys, I'll be back when that uh, comes back on. Hopefully, y'all like this play by play. And uh, if y'all do, just leave me a thumbs up. Thank you. I like to see more of these style videos. And uh, thanks for over the 200 views. I did on the uh, season premiere video, so I greatly appreciate it, and we will catch you all up in a minute. Okay, so let's see if Daryl makes it across the axe crossing. Remember, you guys, it's a three mile axe crossing. So, I think you can only go about 15 kilometers an hour over the axe. So, um, let's transport about I think 10 miles an hour if you're in the US so there it goes he's rolling on my ass right now making a bunch of popping cracks well popping cracks so hopefully you won't sink He stopped, but the cracks had so much, I mean the cracks, I'm sorry guys, the ass had so much cracks in it, you don't know where it hurts together. So you're saying he's seeing water coming up through the ass, which is uh, called overflow. So yeah, uh, hopefully he don't break through. He's almost on land, he's got about 50 feet to go. He's good to go. So, he got the load there to the catch gun. And, so that's Daryl good for this episode. We will see you, they go to next. So he's talk, talking about the company getting paid. That's good for the small little start uh, company, or how they call the Renegade Company. So let's see. Okay, we're back to Lisa. Let's see if she can figure out what's going on with the truck. And get it started and get it going. Okay. 
Tinha cheio de... Tinha cheio de doentes com isso aí, não tinha que ganhar a bola lá. E aí, Lace, why don't you just jump, jump start it with the loaders? Huh? Is it, does it like a good idea? Or can the loaders start? Okay, so she's got a different strategy than what I suggest, which is take her off the loader from the lo from the trailer and just push it. And hopefully, it'll start rolling down the hill. So. so actually, that's not what's going here, guys. I'm sorry. What's going on here? Which I'm trying to give you all the best play by play I can. She's taking off the brakes. Now the truck's rolling. In gear. She's got it in gear. So it's rolling down the hill. She's trying to start it. She got to start. She got to start it, boys. She's rolling again. So I don't know if y'all can pick it up, but she was basically giving you all a better play for the play on what happened because she was the actual one that was doing it. So I'm going to go back picked up on that. Okay, so we're back on the commercial with the guys. So I'll pause it and be right back with you. Okay guys, we're back and uh, basically the part I missed there is basically uh, Micro, which is the uh, speaker for Astro Truckers, said that more winter roads through the network is opening, so uh, hopefully the season will last, but right now Polar is hopefully trying to push another load out to another village here, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so guys, uh, that new driver that I'm showing you about from last episode, she's uh, going to take her first load out right now. So it's 22 yards, Stephanie Keskins. Keskins. Um, say it. Her first name is Stephanie, so that's all you need to know. Basically, it's just showing. Uh, the driver test that uh, Mark put her through last uh, episode. So now she's coming behind the wheel of a uh, truck right now. So I just talking about how Ricky struggled on the Astros the first time out. So. So uh, basically uh, what's going on there is Mark is actually going to 
go with her to deliver her first load. Which is the first time I've seen an actual boss do that. Usually they see the uh, driver with a uh, a uh, green horn, which you know what a really green horn is. It's just a rookie driver without experience. So right now she's grinding her gears pretty good, but um, basically uh, Mark was just telling her not to screw up her shifts. She's got no trailer on right now, guys. So she don't know how the trailer weight is going to uh, affect her in the truck. So basically she's spinning and Mark is telling her she don't want to be spinning. So uh, she she finally made the up a hill guys. So basically she passed, but uh, I, I don't think Mark is wanting to send her out alone. So what I would do if I was in Mark position, and send her maybe out with Alex Zivogorski, which is a 40-year veteran of the Astros. That's who I would send her out with, but I'm not Mark. So, yeah. And guys, a, another rule that you all may not know on the answer to one to you all right now while I'm watching this is when you're all the shows, you know how you have to stop and take a mandatory break every uh, 14 hours. Well, on the Astros, that does not uh, take effect because when you're all the ass, you don't want to stop the truck because of the out of the truck. May break through the ass easier than the truck that's rolling down the road. So you never want to stop on the ass. So basically Mark and Keller, she did a good job. And uh, I think he's going to send her with her first load. And see, what's good. see what goes on here. I know she's climbing out of the truck. Let's see what's going on. So basically, he's telling me the same thing. They told you last, uh, last episode, which was saying, let me take this over. So, uh, she may, she may have a job, she may not. We just have to see it plays out. Okay, so 400 miles from Winnipeg is, who is this? Art going to sit to reset point. Oh yes, I remember this. He's hauling uh, building supplies. So, yeah. They got a lot of washboards in the uh, apartment files. Yeah, I don't know what Palmer Falls is. It's basically frozen ground that uh, can uh, move when the temperatures raise up or, or down. Basically, hard dirt is what it is underneath the ass. So, basically, the farther it goes in, the more harder the, mile it, the miles is. 
on the truck and the Lord himself. I ain't seen Todd this episode, which I forgot to mention to y'all, which, um, remind me, uh, when the commercial comes on, I'll tell you what happened uh, with, uh, Todd last episode. Good guy, there's no one else there. It's just, uh, water. So basically, you went to the ice crossing and can't get through the ice crossing because it's so warm. Oh, I admit there's somebody with the ass over here going to ask to see how thick it is. So he may be able to cross, but I don't know, but he may be able to cross. So basically what they're having to do is their ass is there, but it's not solid enough to support a big truck. So what they're doing is pumping water up from under the ass, spraying it a little on top of the ass, which is freezing it and making it thicker. So Art is just going to have to sit there and wait until it freezes, which could be overnight, could be two or three days later. So you're just going to have to sit there and wait. Alright, so here's what happened with Todd, guys. Um, I'm basically just going to sit like this until I get done telling y'all. Um, Art and uh, Daryl was headed to uh, St. Teresa Point. Daryl was hauling a um, load of um, plastic tanks, looks like sewer tanks. Um, and Daryl was hauling a load of, uh, not Daryl, but Tom was hauling a load of uh, construction supplies. Well, something was wrong with uh, Todd's truck. Uh, therefore, weakening its pulling power. So uh, Todd uh, I got stuck basically and keep making it real. Uh, Daryl was right behind him. And so they switched loads, and so Daryl had Todd's load, and Daryl had Daryl load, and basically they made it into where they need to be at. But I'm guessing something is still wrong with his truck, therefore he, they're not sitting the back out of my ass. Alright, so we can pause y'all, and like I said, we'll be back when it starts back up, I just don't want to record the commercial too because it'll be an hour long video and right now we're at like 35 minutes so yeah I'll be right back when it starts back up and we're back so let's see what goes on oh we'll see if uh, Mark decides to hire that self customers Custin's girl. So she's walking into the office right now. Mark's on there. Have a seat. He's basically reviewing everything that she did. Telling her that she's definitely uh, green, which is where that term green one comes from. It's basically, all that means is that she's new. Okay, so Mark decided to let her have a shot here. So, um, basically, what I would do if I was in Mark's position, I know I said this before, but 
I'm basically kind of giving you all my own opinion too as the episode goes on. Is I would stick her with um, Alex and let her run a couple loads so that way she wouldn't be under her own. But anyways, that's just me. And I'm not the owner of a polar industry. If I was, I'd be doing things different than the Mark Show. Not saying that he ain't a good boss, I'm just saying I'd be doing things different as with anybody. Alright, so I'm going to stop talking and get back to the show. Alright, so we are back with uh, Art here. We just stopped at the Ascrossing. So basically he's trying to figure out how much his truck and trailer mug weighs because he don't want to drop through the ass. So it still might not be strong enough to get them across. Which last season he uh, he broke the last just his tires, so he's having flashbacks from that. You don't want to cross the last. Okay, so he's guessing that his load is underneath the weight limit. Here you go, you're going to try to push it, guys. This probably won't end up being the one again. Okay, so he's in the truck rolling on my ass right now. So basically, if you already heard it before, there's such a thing as r riding a side saddle, as they call it, which basically means if you're uh, risking the trip falling through the ass like he is here, he gets out and steps on the running board of the truck, so that way if the truck does break through, it, he won't have to open the door and he can just jump out. So, um, yeah. There's maybe, which I'm guessing it is, there's maybe like 10 inches, 12 inches at best. I can see the color of the engine underneath the ass. So that's how thin it is. Making a lot of popping and cracking sounds. So it art is right there at the edge of the ice where it says Shimmus. And there's a pickup truck coming straight for him. So, uh, commercial guys, I'll be back in a minute.
So real quick guys before I pause um, As you guys can see I am in a wheelchair so it may take me a little bit longer to get to the pause button and therefore extend the video out a little bit uh, but if y'all do like this video um, just leave me a thumbs up, a comment, maybe a like and uh, if you really like it and want to see me do these uh, play by play episodes like this just subscribe and show me the support guys so I'll catch y'all up when it comes back on so let's see if Art went through the past or not So basically they're explaining what's going on here. But the way the truck pushes down on the ice, which creates a wave in front of the truck, if the wave gets too big, it can uh, break through the ice, which therefore um, plummeting the truck to the bottom. So basically they're trying to avoid that, which he does. And he, he looks like he's gonna make it up fast. And he does make it up fast. There, so. He said he only cried to his pants twice. So it makes it in to St. Teresa to deliver the load. So here we're going to. Okay, this is what you going up next, guys, uh, for next episode. So, uh, basically, we, I uh, know, uh, Stephanie's going to the ball pit while we pick a trailer. Uh, let's see, Lisa's still having engine problems. Okay, so, uh, uh, Mark does not see her with uh, Alex, like I said, but he sees her with uh, Todd, which is a good fit, which is a good fit. So, um, like I said before, guys, hopefully y'all liked this play-by-play. -play. If you did, please leave me a like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and we will see y'all in the next one. I'm Willie, and I'm out until next time. See y'all later. Bye for now.